live from Oakland, California, in the Bay Area. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just a little bit away from first pitch. Getting the nod in this one, Mason Miller. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the chart. So the opposing team, they know they have their work cut out for them anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. All right, ready to get underway. Here's the veteran second baseman, Jose Altuve. Not ball, even no close strike. there. And away we go this afternoon. And the pitch. In right. for a strike. And it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And the righty deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kyle Tucker. Tucker has been an all-star and a gold glover. Miller, he gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard, not to mention the fact not too many hits either. Wouldn't chase that time. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those oh. home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. And there's the automatic. You look at what the elite Three pitchers one. do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and fires. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Two outs, bases empty. is down low. And another two, two. ball. Next oh, offering down. is downstairs. And that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. So two down. And now the veteran third baseman, Alex Bregman. Oh. 
Just missed. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Two outs. Ball high. That one spoiled and the count down two and one. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Alvarez off of first with two away. Now that miss. Great RBI spot here. Workout. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Jeremy Pena waiting to hit for Houston. Sit down on strikes. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So the Astros leave one, and now the Athletics offense gets its first shot here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay, and on the hill, Christian Javier. What do you have on him? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, yeah, put his hard. team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Abraham Toro wow. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. The 1-0. -oh. There's a strike. Clips the outside corner. And a count. One and two. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. Fights it off. He'll see another. That Down one way four. outside. And it's 3-2. and two. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Probably well, really had to battle for that one. Oh, man, that was so fun to watch. <laughs> Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. This is J.J. Blade. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Stays alive. One, two. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner stays where he is. Runner at first with no outs here. And he deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone here. 
Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Next to hit, Brent Rooker. First offering, and it just misses. Man at first, one away. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a pitch. Wouldn't that's chase that time. 3 0. Oh. There's right. the strike, and it's three and one. Three and one. For that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Kicks and deals. And that's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. That We've seen him cool. give up walks in the Look past, and it's an issue yeah. once again early on. So first and second with one man gone. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Yeah. That one catches the zone. And that's strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. But I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Sometimes being feel? lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. 0-2 now. And that's ball. down and away. Way to lay off that pitch down. One ball, two strikes. One out. Runners at first and second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. So first and second with two outs. And here's the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. Nice ball for a strike. And it's 0-1. No ball. One strike. Now a high fly ball out to left center. McCormick pulls it in on the run. A strand a couple. We played an inning. No score. All set for the start of the inning. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Miller back to work. Just Whoa. missed. Oh. Next Big offering pop. is in for a strike. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Brings it in with a nice running grab. One down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Number 28 stands in now and watches strike one. One out, base is empty. Outside. That's the ball. Outside. That misses no the zone. Yeah, that's ball two. 
One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. That's inside. That's no score here in the second. Right. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. And the first That's pitch misses ball. for ball one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And that that's one almost ball. hit him. Two balls, one strike. Right, right through there for a strike. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. Astros go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. in Oakland we go. now Zach Gellar the second baseman Zach Gellar the right hander back to work Whoa. swing and a miss as he was out front that Going time one. that's three there for a strike Here's the 0-2. And one ball and one. The pitch. And now ball. it's even up. Two and two. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter by the pitcher to take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Seth Brown in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Left-hand batter waits. That yeah. clips the corner. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next That's offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. And the right-hander deals. Out to short, Pena. Sends it across the first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting the third baseman. JJ. Now it's JD Davis. David. Just oh. missed. And it's fouled away. Pitch. That's the one. In.
two two now. And that's Count in the four. dirt. Good plate Get appearance the there. Able to take the walk. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. We had to play off some really Not close so pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Number 12 uh -uh. stands oh. in here, takes ball one low. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Davis off the of first with two away. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Two balls, two strikes. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. Two two now. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. The A's strand one will move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. Diaz in his second season, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Nope. Ball. Just off the outside edge. One ball, no and that's ball one. That one nope. missed. Ball. Really close pitch down around the knees ball, there. No and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. That Ball. one misses, and now three and zero. Three zero. Righty delivers. Yeah. That clips a corner. I mean, that's perfect Four location, down. right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Three, two on the way. That one misses. Four, so a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Next to hit, Chaz McCormick. There's the strike of the knees. Going to walk. He starts him with the fastball, and that's a pitch that's right in his wheelhouse. You need to be careful against him with that one. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now back. Second base. Jose Altuve up to hit here. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Inside wow. almost got him. And the 1 0. Rudder takes off. Hammered. And now maybe extra bases. 
Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. one nothing. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One down. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Struck out swinging his first time. Pulls out one foul. Yeah. And there's a strike with Peter, 98. Miller, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Man at second. One, two. Foul ball still, one and two count. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. Here comes a pitch. Yeah, that two, skips two. in the dirt. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's the guy he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mason Miller out of the game, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. Joey Estes gets the call from the pen. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He reached out a walk his first time. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Man on second, two down. Fouled off. He was late. Chop to the right side. Over to first. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. They limit the damage here. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, Abraham Toro. Toro. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Righty to the plate. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Up away, away, away. Look, Clearly that was the plan right there. Yeah. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And yeah. that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. On the ground right side. Altuve hey. slings to first. And a couple of quick outs. Up next. Okay. No left no left field. Field. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a foul ball. On, 
That clips the zone. That is strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And the A's are gone in order. They trail here, one nothing. And we're back. Here's the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. The line of the pitch. There's the strike up high. One one. And that oh. one is inside. One one. Right-handed reliever. Check That's swing and he held up. That ball, one ball. misses. Now three and one. Line drive. Makes the catch for the out. One up, one down. Up next to the outfield. The book will come. Jeremy, Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. He's over one. And that's, that's a ball. Off the inside edge. And it's one to no. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. And there's a the ball. Ground ball left side and it gets by him. The battle number 48. And now the first baseman. Runner. Here goes the runner. Lined into right. And a superb diving catch. The so a great diving catch and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there right Chris yeah stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was in fact that's about as good as it gets pretty much a direct line to it and perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life I don't know but man great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well no fumble caused by the ground the extra bases. Pena, round second on his way to third. Coming home. Now a relay to the plate, but it's offline. It's 2 nothing. It's around the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man in scoring position with two away. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. He walked and came around to score his first time up. In the air, out towards right center. Lede sizes this one up, brings it in for the third out. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Here's the catcher, Shea the catcher. Langoliers. Shea Langoliers. Javier, back to work. Swing it a foul straight back. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. One and one. A wind in the pitch. 
So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Next Do offering is outside. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. Good eye no, in that spot. Now in this three ball count, down, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. So up next, Tyler Soderstrom. Fly to left his first time. Breaking ball inside. And that is ball one. And another oh. ball. And it's second. And that's oh, outside. outside. And that's ball three. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Right hander kicks deals. Three. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Oh, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Get off. And with one down, takes a strike. The Athletics down by a pair. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Good eye no, right ball. there. One and one. A ah. Big swing and a miss. Generally, second, one third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And the pitch. That one two not two. close. Two and two. Langoliers over at second, one down. At the belt and fires. This one high in the air to left center. Hauls it in, and there's two away. So here's Brown like the play. Number Grounded 15. out to short in his first trip. Wow. Ball oh. one low. One and up. Runner at second, two down. Next 
first that offering hit, upstairs. Two and up. And a pitch. Top Yeehaw. of the zone for a strike. Now two and one. Two balls, one strike. And that one clips the corner. And that's a ball. The inside edge. Full and count. the count's full. J.D. Davis in the on deck circle for the A's. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, needed a big strikeout to get out of danger. Turned to the deception of that changeup. Great execution. Really sold it with the arm speed. Had his opponent way out on that front foot. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Has a beat on it. And it's caught for the out. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. One for two. Altuve oh. always seems to be setting records or reaching milestones, Boog. In 2023, he became the fastest player to reach 2,000 career hits, 200 home runs, and 200 stolen bases in MLB history. Good for a strike. And a count one and one. Bases empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Ground ball up the middle, and that chance handled. Tosses to first, and the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Tucker, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And ball onto the right fielder. to the moon his 18th home run of the season and they boost their lead it's three nothing that one just sounded different and yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet man my ears are ringing I can feel that swing from the boot a breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics if you fly open with the front shoulder there's no way you keep that ball fair an outstanding job mechanically he deserves that home run Your Don Alvarez will hit next. First That's pitch misses. Ball. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. Estes. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting right, their stuff. Mark. That's in there. Two and one now. Well, he's been good for the most part. 
Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, well, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Jumps, but it's off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they get it out of the play. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning, and now J.D. Davis. The wind of the pitch. And that no, one just out. misses. A ball and no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Hunter Brown up and loosening in the pen. Valdez also throwing. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And there's one away. Up next. Up. Up. Not shortstop. Shoe man. Now it's the shortstop. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And first offering is fouled off. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite they're speed, right. the fact that they're consistent with it. They make moves on the base paths. And a pitch. Slider misses strike. outside. The next the offering ball. misses. Two balls, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Comes a 2-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Striding to the plate now, now for Oakland. No, Abraham Toro. Went down looking on three pitches last oh. time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And that's, no, that off missed. that's the ball. inside edge. Ball one. Ah. Right through there for a strike. The Strohs leading by three. Last half of inning number five. On the ground to the left. And wow. that's just foul. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Ripped to short. Rolls across the diamond. Oakland goes quietly. And one, two, three go the A's. They trail it here, three nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman measures six feet even, 30 years old now. A former first-round pick back in 2015. Action in the pen down there. Michael Kelly getting ready to go. Number 58 getting loose as well. And the righty deals. Hammer, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. Now here is Jeremy Pena. That one finds the corner. It's 0-1. Bregman gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Bregman runs. Swing and a miss. Throw the second tag. Out in second. Oh, what an incredible throw right there. And he might not have had time to get to his feet and catch that runner. That's an incredible display of arm strength.
swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field so they get a man aboard with a one out single hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already his now bat bad, stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even pulls it down and there's two gone the tag gets him and it's a double play to end the inning so it's no runs on two base hits no errors no one left two three four do up in the home half of the sixth it's the Astros three and the A's nothing back here in the East Bay now the number two hitter J.J. Blade. The pitch. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Altuve slings to first. One up, one down. He's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. A strikeout and a walk. And that's in for a strike. The Astros have some action in their pen. Hunter Brown appears to be getting loose. Pitch in the dirt. And a count one and two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Myers sizing this one up. Snags it for the second out. Oh, no, no, no. The catch yeah. Two outs, base is empty. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. Shea Langoliers, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Fall off foul. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. Ball. Oh. One and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. A's go quickly and quietly there. Still down, three nothing. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Michael Kelly. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Now, got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Michael Kelly. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. The center fielder of the fifth, Jake Myers. The pitch. And nope. downstairs. Oh. Breaking ball inside. Now 2-0. That one ripped, but foul. And he deals. And there's the strike. And another ball. Outside, and that is ball four. And at first, and now the catcher comes up to him. Gainer Diaz. The 
This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Next offer, he's in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Myers aboard here at first with nobody out. The pitch. This one popped up right side. Gellar under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one away. Now back out. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Rudder takes off. Strike in there. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Oh, that that's fastball him. drilled him. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit-by-pitches yourself? Second Maybe easy. high school, college? Okay. No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Altuve no, at the down. plate now. Oh. That's ball one. And that's oh. in the dirt. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple Good runners ball, no on. Break. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The Astros trying to break this one open here in the top half of inning number seven. Pitch is in there. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Two on, one out. Oh, great stop from his knees. The throw. There's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Aggressive move to his right right there to knock that ball down. you got to hope that the pitcher's going to be there in case you can't get to the bag yourself. But a good job to start that play. And next to hit for Houston, Kyle Tucker. He's already homered in this game. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Left hand batter waits. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. In the air to left down the line. And that drops foul. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Astros four, and the A's nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Fromber Valdez. And he's got a big now time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early Valdez. if they're going to have any chance. Valdez. 
Hefner, the batter down. Yeah, yeah. Tyler yeah. Soderstrom. The first base. Tyler Soderstrom. As the lefty gets to work. That's in there. Going one. That one the other way. Pena. Whips it across. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now that second base. Zach Gellar. Up next for the A's. First nope, pitch ball. just misses. And it skips in the dirt. Here comes a pitch. Now That's three and oh. Three oh. There, there's the automatic. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch the wasn't even much to think about. 15. One gone, runner at first. Seth Brown wow. up next for the A's. And there's a foul ball. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Left hand hitter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The A's down by four here at the bottom of the seven. Base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now batter. Third base. JD. So first and second with JD. one gone. Now it's JD Davis. Up the middle, Pena takes it himself for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Astros four and the A's nothing. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 58. This is his third time out this year. Your Don Alvarez getting ready to hit. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. That's down and in. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. The wind to kick the 2-0. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. It could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a four-pitch walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but... He wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Alex. Here's Alex Bregman. That That's one misses. That's, That's five straight. Activity in the bullpen. T.J. McFarland. The veteran southpaw is getting ready to come on if needed. Muller warming up as well. The 1-0. -oh. Can't oh. find it here. That's six straight balls. Close, nope. but call oh. the ball. And it's 3-0. Oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. One. That's in there. Three and one. Right, On the ground. Soderstrom oh. to second, and it's a double play. 
me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball there. Up the middle, finds its way through, base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And here is number 28. Runner on the goal. Oh, yeah. second out. And that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Hunter Brown now hasn't pitched in the last three days. Number 58, Hunter Brown. Here's the shortstop at the play. The shortstop. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ryan Presley, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to Oakley, the designated hitter. Abraham back to the top of the Toro. lineup Abraham Toro up next for the A's one for three bounce to the right and he takes it himself for the out the center fielder number 33 JJ JJ Blade up next for the A's 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And that's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And yeah, the batter now, Brent Rooker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Lede leads off first with two down to the inning. Two balls, no, no strikes, the count. Oh. He swings and fouls one off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. As this one sized up and makes the play, and that's out number three. One hit, one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros four and the A's nothing. Back in Oakland, all yeah, set yeah. to start the ninth in the this one. Season. And here is number, number 28. The wind of the pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. One away. The center, the center field, field number six. six. Jake, Jake Myers. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. Go, 
A yeah. swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Your ball Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. That one ball. in the dirt, and now it's even one and one. One ball, one strike. Way that's inside. Ball. Yeah, the 2-1 hammered, but foul. Right-handed reliever. And Full another count. ball. To third. Davis with up. the throw to first. Two up, two down. Now Two outs, bases empty. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. And first offering is fouled off. Headed down the line. Brown towards the line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Astros four and the A's nothing. And we're back. And here's the, the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Brown, a 6-2 righty, 25 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2019. That's in there, and it's on one. That's oh. a little bit low. The 1-1. One, one. Right through there for a strike. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Number 21. And here's the first baseman, Tyler Soderstrom. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Pitch misses. 1 and 0. The Strohs leading by four here in the last half of inning number nine. That Peace. catches the zone for a strike, and the count is one and one. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Now a fly ball to right center. Myers racing over to make the catch. Now that second base. The Athletics down to their last out. Here's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. And the first uh -huh. pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. So two that balls is, and no ball. strikes. Hit to right, and that should do it. He pulls it down. Ball game. And the Astros use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.